And this is how we're starting. Hey Murphy, 2011, welcome in. See you a first time chatter. I really hope this is not how we will start tonight. Oh brother, turn that shit off and put on some real music. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I am a fan of this. I am a fan of this. I like the way this night has started just like that on a dime. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not aware, in the pink is Richie Rich. The one in the white shirt is Jeremy Palmore. And of course, the big man in the back, he dragged in all black, Shaw Kenny. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you three fourths of the influence. Hey, Murph, it don't work. It's just up there to be pretty at this point. Don't even trip. <laughs> I said three-fourths. Here's the man that makes this whole thing whole. Yes, indeed. The Godfather and the leader of the influence, Angel Perkins Harris. But everybody in the world calls him A-P-H. Seems like BG's birthday, BGW's birthday is getting off to a better start than I ever could have imagined. Perfect. <laughs> Sucks to be you, sir. APH in the building. I see you in the chat, buddy. How are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm gonna make this quick because I got a lot of things to get off my chest. I use that theme song to come out to this ring to get Pantheon's attention because these three brothers in this ring want a shot at Pantheon as well. You see, much like myself, these three gentlemen right here want nothing more than to beat the shit out of Pantheon on the grandest stage. So here's what we propose. On behalf of Jeremy Barmore, Sean Kenny, and Richie Rich, I hereby challenge Huey Blunt, Zion, and Jeff Vendetta to a trios match at Holy Grail 2. Now, Richie Rich, I know you want to get your hands on Pantheon, but those two monsters, Kenny and Barmore, after what happened with the hybrid, I know. You two want to get your hands on them as badly as I want to get my hands on BGW. So, the gauntlet has been sent out to you, brothers. How do you respond? Hopefully you respond better than BGW did, who once again pulled a typical joke, a typical BGW maneuver. Instead of taking things to himself, he decided to make jokes. He decided to come out here on that big-ass jumbotron and try to 
make this whole thing about me being fake, me being a facsimile, a fraud, me being a copycat. Okay, BGW, well, let's really talk about it, shall we? The same brother who's calling me a copycat is the same guy who's been riding the coattails of MC Adams and QC success along with the rest of Eminence for years. Wow. Let's be honest. If it wasn't for them, brothers, you would be nothing, okay? So knock that shit off. Let's also be honest. You yes, are terrified to fight me at Holy Grail, not just because of what QC did to you at Onslaught, but because of the fact that you let an untrained commentator beat your ass. Yeah, yes, yeah, Jinx. 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 Put on some boots for the first time and not your ass senseless around this ring. He ran circles around you, boy. Oh, but you a man, right? You're not a coward. Please, boy. I Knock did. it off. I did. Yo, shout out to Jinx, man. Shout out to Jinx. Shout out to you, AGH. Shout out to you. And then you pulled the card out that I am a uh, fraud, right? Okay. I'm fraudulent. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to have to pull this card, but it appears like I always have to. Put up the championship. See that right there? That's my version of my undisputed championship. The title that matters around here. I want to direct your attention to those side plates. You see that? That's a list of names of people I have beaten in my career. You don't, don't worry, there's more on the right. Bobby Legend, Breon Johnson, Tone White, Jeff Vendetta, and yes, even the global champion, Anthony Ragoni, and even the undisputed bitch made boy, Seth brawled himself hi Seth watching you buddy good luck at Holy Grail against Eddie J <laughs> you see those list of names are lists of great wrestlers yet you call me fraudulent man knock it off to me I go back to what I've always been saying about you you are nothing more than a scared little punk who's afraid to get embarrassed on the grandest stage. So here's how we're gonna handle things. Cause I know you're not here right now. I know you're probably in Bora Bora someplace celebrating your birthday. Last year, I didn't have a clear path to Holy Grail so I forced the issue. This year, I have a very clear path to Holy Grail and an uncooperative opponent. So, I'll make you cooperative. I gave you a chance to accept my challenge willingly and to go to Holy Grail and fight me like a man but clearly you wanna act like a little bitch bitch grade whiner as always so I'm gonna force the issue and I'm just gonna say this right now BGW you did this to yourself because you're not gonna like what happens when I force the issue Hey! Shit just got real, real fast in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I like the way this birthday celebration started. My, my, my. Oh, my. Let the church say amen, as the homie MC would say. Wow! Wee! Yikesies! Buddy, buddy. Let's get it. 